Hey guys, welcome back to my weekly videos. As you can see, this is not my usual setup. I have moved my camera, I have moved stuff around in my room, and I also wanted to share before I jump into the topic today, um, some life updates just to keep you guys in the loop of what's going on because I'm also going to be changing some of my videos and I'm going to be doing videos on my life updates most likely and sharing different testimonies. So just to briefly share, next week I'm getting married and the week after I'm moving across the country to live in Vancouver, at least for the year. So there's a lot to unpack there. And the other thing is that I will not be making videos next week, the week after or the week after. So for about three weeks, I will be not doing videos. And when I do return, I'm gonna have a temporary setup and I'll see what else I'll be changing with my videos. So I just wanted to update you guys with that. Um, now, with that being said, I'm gonna jump in the topic for today, which is faith, what faith is, how to have faith and how to strengthen your faith. So the first thing I'm gonna read is Hebrews 11 verse one, which says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I believe that for all of us, there are all different areas of our lives that we're hoping for things to be different or we're waiting for that opportunity or we're waiting for that change. And really what I wanted to share here is that a lot of the times we don't want to take a step out until we have all of the answers. We don't want to, let's just say for an example, if we're in a relationship that's toxic that we know is not for us, or even if it's not toxic, it's just not the person that God wants or has for us and we know that we need to let that go but we are not willing to let that go because we don't see the evidence of the next relationship the healthy relationship on the horizon and maybe that could be the same for a job or for any area of our lives and so stepping out in faith would look like not having all the answers yet but stepping out regardless because we're trusting that God knows best and that he has better plans for us stepping out in faith is an act of obedience and God honors that obedience. And it's also an act of trust because we're saying, I trust you, God, even though I don't see what I'm looking for, even though I, I don't, the answers are not here, I trust you. I trust that you know better. I trust that you saw this coming and that you are working behind the scenes in my life. There's this illustration, you may have seen it before, I'll probably put it up here on the screen, but it's this little girl and she has this small teddy bear that she obviously absolutely loves. And Jesus is there asking her, to give him the teddy bear. And behind his back, he has a huge teddy bear, but she can't see yet that he has better for her. She needs to be able to let go of that thing that she's holding on to. So whether it's something that we're holding on to that we need to let go of to make room for what God has for us, or maybe it's just stepping out into a new opportunity or stepping out by putting ourselves out there but again, not having the evidence of those things seen. That is an act of obedience. That is an act of trust. And yes, it can feel very scary. It feels very vulnerable. It feels like you are free falling, but honestly, that's what faith feels like. And at the same time, you can also have this like really strange peace, even when everything around you doesn't, you know, looks either chaotic or it doesn't look like it's lining up, but you also have a peace knowing that God knows better and that he has better. I think, I believe that we all know when we need to make that change. And again, it's not a feeling of anxiousness. It's not a feeling of feeling rushed that you need to rush into something. It's more of a peaceful feeling where you just know that this is what you have to do. And I think something else to remember is that it doesn't always mean that it's going to be comfortable either or that it's going to be pain-free. And sometimes there is gonna be a season between those things where we've either let go of something and we're waiting for the new and there can be there can be pain during that time and God can be taking us through a process. Or again, it can just be stepping out, putting ourselves out there. Maybe it's starting a business or starting a podcast or, or starting by going on dating websites or something like that. And there can be that time in between where we're like, okay, God, what are you doing? Like I stepped out or I let that thing go and I don't see it yet. But his thoughts are above our thoughts. His ways are above our ways. So we don't always understand what he's doing, but he really is working behind the scenes. I think something that helps me a lot with letting go and with having faith as well is also just recalling every single time that God did work things out for me and all the things that I worried about that either didn't happen or that I worried about and God just had it under control. So I really try to recall all of those times that I was in a situation where I was fearful or panicking or didn't know what was going on, but just remembering that God would deliver me again. 
The last piece of advice that I would say is do not look at what is happening in the natural. This is something I really had to learn this year. You may have never heard this before, you may have heard this a thousand times, but the spiritual world is so much more alive and so much more real than the natural world. So when things are happening, let's just say, you know, headlines are popping up or we get a bad report or something doesn't look good. We cannot be reacting to every single thing that happens. It doesn't mean that we don't pay attention to what's going on in the world. It doesn't mean that we don't use wisdom and that we don't seek counsel and that we don't plan. It doesn't mean any of those things, but we cannot just be reacting like the world reacts. So again, this can be any single area of our lives where let's say we get a bad report of something or something doesn't look good, something doesn't work out. And we're seeing, we're seeing in front of us that this does not look good, but we know that God has this under control. When we're constantly reacting, first of all, it is exhausting. But another thing is that it actually shows that we don't trust God because then the second something doesn't go our way, we turn to him and say, I thought you said this was going to work out. Why are you doing this to me? And I also just wanted to say that this is much easier said than done. This is something that I personally have been working through. And I think I've come a long way, but I, I am in no way perfect when it comes to this. I still react to things. And, but I really just try to take a step back and say, no, it doesn't matter if this is, if this is what is happening in the natural. God promised me one thing. And an example of that honestly would be the pandemic like earlier this year in march when everything started happening one job after job after job of mine was getting cancelled and i'm looking at that i need a certain amount of money by a certain day this year and i'm seeing all my jobs being cancelled yeah in the natural that didn't look good but really behind the scenes god was doing so much more work where it's like I could have turned and said, God, you you know, you know, told me, or well, what am I gonna do now with my finances? My jobs have been canceled. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing in the natural. In the natural, my jobs have been canceled. But behind the scenes, he is he was working out so many different things. He was pulling strings here and there. He was lining things up. And that's exactly what he did. And, and that's um, that's just one example in my life. But that's what he does. And, and it does come with practice. It does come with, with walking out our faith walk with God. It definitely, comes with seeking God and with staying close to him. So it's not easy, but it is so worth it. And that's really all that I wanted to share in this video today on faith. I hope that that was helpful. If you know anyone who would like this video, then please send it over to them. And if you're interested in coaching, I offer email coaching and virtual coaching via Zoom. Then you can go to my website, which is now bloom.life or send me an email and I would love to hear from you. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in a few weeks. Bye.